Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today, I would like to share with you the amazing showcase by Yolo Park at the recently concluded THGCC 2023 event. In fact, we will have a lot of showcase videos coming up for every single individual brands that we managed to film at the particular event because there were just so many amazing things shown at the particular venue that we think that it is only fair to give every single brand their own individual showcase. So first up, let's talk about Yolo Park. This is the first time I'm actually seeing the Yolo Park showcase in person and I have to say they have a very impressive lineup of existing products and also upcoming products shown at a particular event especially some coming prototypes which I will show you later the first thing that actually caught my attention is of course the Transformers Double IES Optimus Prime Earth Mode it stands at 62 centimeters tall and at first glance I really thought this was a statue but we all know that this is a fully moving articulating collectible Optimus Prime and it looks pretty awesome. The reason why I thought it was a statue was because the amount of die-cast parts has been used for this particular piece. It looks almost like polystone but to be frank, first time seeing this piece in person, it is very very impressive. Um, but of course the price is also quite high. It is a premium piece for discerned collectors so for those of you who are still looking for this there i think there's still some very limited units available there is also a cybertron special edition coming out very soon as well what was also showcased at the yellow park event was the transformers optimus primal now this thing was a little bit more different this whole piece it takes up so much space due to the size and the width of the particular optimus primal it is almost look like a quarter scale statue at first glance and I think that was something that I was not expecting. The texture on the shoulder pads and the also the use of fur and the level of detail and the three-tone color paint of silver metallic uh, gunmetal there as well. It really has a lot of interesting going on for Artemis Primal, especially the weathering effects has been done on this particular piece and of course you can actually transform this guy but you know I was not allowed to touch it but 28 articulation points 62 centimeters tall as well it is a freaking big piece for Optimus Primal fans this is something that you definitely would want to have now there is also the Earth Mode Optimus Prime model kit I think this one has been released in the market for quite a while now but of course some of you who have not gotten this will probably want to buy this particular piece it stands at almost at 160 scale from a Gundam uh, size perspective it looks pretty impressive and there's a lot of details the overall finishing as well looks pretty good and if you can't afford that big S 62 centimeters Optimus Prime Earth Mode that we shown earlier this is probably something that you want to get and of course this being a model kit not only do you get to assemble it you also get to do your own weathering and painting so this particular piece looks pretty good I actually am quite keen to see how you actually assemble this particular piece out there also shown was a shockwave Shortwave also looks very nice with the very polished metallic finish silver and also tons of details on everywhere just like what we've seen on the Optimus Prime Earth Mode plastic model kit as well. And for those of you who wanted something a little bit smaller of 1 100 scale, Yolo Park also have your bases covered with the AMK series based on the recently concluded Rise of the Beast Transformers movie. You have the Optimus Prime Earth Mode, Bumblebee, and also Optimus Primo. I'm actually quite keen to see how Optimus Primo would be showcasing all the different articulation and moving gimmicks as a model kit. Even though, you know, the colors does look a little bit dull given that it is meant to be Optimus Primal but it does have very nice textures on the shoulder pad as what we've seen from the movie itself so quite keen to actually build this kit if I ever get a chance to buy it. Uh, also on showcase at the event floor for this particular AMK series are uh, also the upcoming Decepticon series which is if I'm not mistaken this is Scourge and the other guy I can't remember the name on top of my head but they do look pretty interesting unfortunately they were not able to post it a lot better because this is a 3d printed prototype just to be shown at the venue here itself now one of the things that really caught my eye that i really wanted to buy once it's released is actually a brand new transformers g1 
what Yellow Park calls the AMK Pro Series. This is also a model kit with a lot of diecast parts. But what is interesting is the brand new gimmick that has been built into this particular kit. As you can see here, the Megatron eyes actually lights up and glows and it comes with two separate face plates and all the accessories in terms of the um, better damage chest plates these weapons everything is here it looks super fantastic the weathering as well so this is probably one of the kit that i'm most looking forward to from the amk pro series brand new from yolo park focusing only on the g1 design the original design of the Transformer series that we have come to know and love. So this is definitely something that is worth checking out for those of you who are sick of seeing, you know, typical G1 design with nothing new. This particular design from Yolo Punk with the amazing glowing light gimmick is very cool. So how you activate the lights is just basically using the um, particular key and just touch on it. It's a magnetic light up for this particular piece. Next one that's coming up is um, Soundwave, if you're not mistaken. Soundwave looks pretty good for a... This is not a design. This is something that's coming from the uh, Transformers Bumblebee design, if you're not mistaken. It looks pretty good, and this is also coming up under the AMK Pro series. For those of you who wanted something very, very easy to build, something very small, they are also releasing the G1 design-inspired build for the... Um, model kit from Yolo Park as well. These guys are very very tiny. It is almost like a 1144 scale which is what they call the mini series from Yolo Park. So very collectible. Something that you can actually bring and put onto your office desk and the one that actually caught my eye is the AMK mini series Grimlock. Grimlock is definitely by far one of my favorite Autobot slash Decepticon guy right. So do check them out, these guys, I think it's already available right now. It's just a matter of, uh, of getting this uh, in the store for us to actually buy in Malaysia. So the good news is Yolo Park is actually having an official presence in Malaysia and Singapore. So we should be expecting to see a lot more releases and availability of their products in the market. What do you guys think of this particular video and coverage? Do let us know. We'd love to hear from you guys on what you think. We do have a lot of coverage coming up from other brands such as uh, Tiny, Tree Zero, and also Biscuitum coming up. So do check out on our channel for new videos. And if you're happy with what you see here, hey, do subscribe. If not, no biggie. We'll see you very, very soon. Thank you.